Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and nothing too special going on in this video today. Just wanting to catalog my uh, Mayhem event sort of progress, what I did for it, and uh, what I changed when I was playing, uh, through my original plans anyway. So Mayhem event is, of course, just throwing in a bunch of extra modifiers from previous leagues into every uh, map and zone randomly. For example, this map has 10 breaches. Um, this one is a breach stone, so it doesn't have anything, uh, but you could have 20 invasion mobs, 20 exiles, 20 harbingers, 20 strong boxes, all that type of shit is pretty damn fun and really does give uh, a sense of a lot more pack size to every single zone and every single uh, map. And I was vastly over leveled while doing my uh, mayhem leveling playthrough because I was cleaning up my harbingers and clicking on um, plenty of boxes and uh, killing lots of invaders and shit and by the time I hit to Katava I was like level 74 uh, without trying to farm or over level at all. So it was a lot of fun um, leveling and having a lot more pack size and the build I chose to try and do was of course something pretty hipster and pretty dumb which was Lancing Steel Scion because uh, I gotta try and do something a little bit different, can't just play another normal build, and of course I've gotta go with a hipster ascendancy so that there's less competition in it. Uh, so we went with Scion, um, and the idea was to go Berserker and then uh, Deadeye for Lancing Steel so we get more damage and more projectiles and accuracy and pierce and stuff like that. And I did want to go full elemental to begin with, uh, just stacking elemental damage, which is a viable way of building Lancing Steel. You don't have to uh, go into pure fizz or impale or anything like that, but without real any gear for it, uh, you're not going to be getting any good elemental damage happening. You need some decent weapons, you need some uh, decent jewelry and just good stuff overall and I have none of that and throughout the leveling experience the best I could really do was some okay physical weapons so I was just lent, uh, pushed a lot further towards uh, the impale version and that's what this is I'm basically an impale lancing steel character with uh, like 150-200 DPS shit weapons and uh, some pretty mediocre gear all around but it was doing good work and it definitely was uh, getting me through the game quite comfortably. Uh, it was starting to kind of taper off as I was getting to higher tier white maps uh, and into yellow maps, but it was still very much acceptable and nothing really felt particularly bad uh, during the um, building of this character. Uh, though definitely could have used better weapons and that would make a much easier uh, playthrough. And I was on a four link up until like, I don't know, level 70... To 80 or something like that so even with a fall link it was doing well enough but as you play solo self found you do find items you do uh, think of little respects and all that and I did find some stuff that made me want to uh, try out a wander with a bit of a respec and that's why at this point in time on mayhem I'm still alive but I'm now kinetic blast and um, using elemental hit as a single target the idea was that I just kind of wanted to have some shatters and some good explosions in the build and the build I was currently playing didn't have that and I couldn't get hemophilias, I couldn't get an explosion chest uh, but to do lots of mapping you kind of want to enjoy your build and you want to have a nice aesthetic, uh, aesthetically pleasing skill and uh, experience and so with a Piscator's drop with a Pandemonius I thought hell I could make a full cold uh, Wanda happen and we don't really care about huge single target or extremely viable build since all we're doing is just mapping to a low extent even I'm not doing high tier maps yet um, so it could be a shit build it could be pretty bad and trust me it's pretty bad like I'm doing hardly any damage here and um, for a lot of the time I was leveling my Ellie hit when I respect because just a pure like barrage or power siphon wasn't going to cut it so once the Ellie hit has started to level up a bit the single target isn't that bad anymore but it's still not good and the kinetic blast on a four link is doing okay but it's certainly nothing impressive because all of my damage in the current build is coming from an added cold support 
I've got no other real added flap, fizz, flap, Ellie anywhere, uh, with the Piscators, of course, and it's, uh, it's a bit of a struggle, but it is doing good enough to be clearing through these maps, and I'm at currently level 89, not yet dead, and still just uh, chugging along, having a bit of a struggle, maybe thinking of another little respec hero there, could actually try Lancing Steel as an elemental version, but once again, might be a bit throttled by gear. So trying to find a bit more gear, trying to map up map it up a bit more and still having some fun on mayhem so i do want to just quickly show you what the character looks like uh but i don't really recommend copying anything here it's just for uh informational purposes here's my current character level 89 mathel another easy demi win which is a fucking lie i'm not really too close maybe top 25 sign at the moment uh just been i don't know struggling with the uh little sort of respects and uh hipster builds and it hasn't been too powerful i've been mostly just grinding lower level maps um trying to get better stuff because i'm not really too well equipped to be going higher but i can do at least you know most yellow maps at this point and that's going to be good enough to push level 90 maybe 91 if i really want to but uh world of warcraft might be more of a priority with the little reset happening in any case currently um the build as a Lancing Steel character was without this, it wasn't up here. Basically I was just localized to this area down here and I took a few Impale nodes over here, um, some dual wield nodes down here and a few dual wield nodes over there. So it was pretty basic tree, it was non-crit and it was just fizz um, stacking with projectile stuff as well. But currently as the... Um, wanding version i am a non-crit wander so i do still go up for elemental overload uh, and that is because i just couldn't justify making a huge enough respec to go all the way around here and grab the crit stuff and um getting crit multi because it's going to be pretty tough off of no gear and also it's a lot of regret points which i just don't have so it's a non-crit wander um trying to use sort of the similar uh staple from before of my tree with some chance to freeze across the board so i've got something like 40 or 50 percent chance to freeze so even without critting i do actually freeze things pretty regularly and cause explosions um, and we're non-crit with elemental overload i'm using elemental equilibrium at the moment just purely for my uh, ellie hit so that it does some decent sort of uh you know rotation in the minus max category but it does make my clear slightly worse which isn't a big deal since uh clear is decent anyway uh and otherwise yeah just some um, you know proj damage some little flask nodes plenty of life nodes got 6.3k life as a wander which is you know pretty damn thick i do not currently run the risk of dying to almost anything uh in the content i'm doing or like losing much life even uh, I've got phase acro, plenty of um, sort of armor even without, not plenty, but you know, a little bit of armor, a little bit of dodge, mostly the phase acro and stuff, a little bit of block, uh, and then overall just a lot of life and decent recovery as well, thanks to being a berserker uh, with the pretty chunky leech, and then I'm also a dead eye with the uh, skill proj and pierce and uh, accuracy so we've also taken these nodes over here they were primarily for the uh, lancing steel version of the character but still good for this as well getting extra pierce as uh, there's lots of thick packs of mobs with the invasion with the harbingers and stuff so more pierce isn't exactly a bad thing um, and then point blank just for boss dps and otherwise whatever shit jewels i've got bit of attack speed um bit of attack speed Need a combat focus ideally so that I could uh, get rid of elemental equilibrium and just focus purely on the cold portion of um, Ellie hit, but currently don't have any of those. But that's basically the little build that I've put together there, just scuffed, non-crit, using a Piscator's, that's what I found, so I wanted to use that. Got a Pandemonious, because uh, there's a lot of breaches out there, so getting one of these isn't too hard, I don't think, but still a little bit lucky wanted to make use of it and i've anointed one slinger so that i'm getting benefit out of the um, spell damage on the piscators as well and i could get a shield with a bunch of spell damage if i happen to find one 
Uh, everything else, pretty garbage. Nothing to really show you there. Uh, and uh, the links are currently Ellie hit, hypothermia, inspiration, Ellie damage with attacks, and damage on full life. And of course, uh, damage on full life does work even with blood rage, as long as you are out regening the degen. As you can see, we currently are. So damage on full life will work, even though graphically it doesn't show 100% life. And for the uh, kinetic blast, we have GMP, added cold, and inspiration in a four link. That's about all I really need to say about the character. There's nothing to um, do for too much, you know, info. We do have a spell slinger with Ellie weakness as well, so that's how I'm cursing. I guess that's the only other funky bit of the character. It's been a bit of a struggle, but I had to do something hipster. Can't just play a normal character. And uh, I doubt we're getting a Demi, but hey, who knows? We'll see what happens in the next few days. Hope you guys enjoyed your mayhem. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and... Probably see you in the Endless Delve event.